Imagine looking into a garage and you see this real pretty car, your dream car. Everybody has a dream car and you see that car sitting in the garage. And you're like, man, I can't wait to start it up. I'm about to go get the key and everybody's gonna see me and I'm gonna be rolling. I'm gonna go here, here, and here. I've got plans for this car. And you go to put the key in the ignition and to start it up and it doesn't start. So you begin to get frustrated and you're like, why is this not starting? And you pop the hood. And when you look under the hood, you see that there's key things missing on that engine, that there's some broken pieces in the engine. There's some broken pieces under the hood. And you just get so frustrated because you like on the outside, it looks so pretty and it looked like it was my dream car and I was getting ready to take it for a ride and now I can't take it anywhere. So I'm frustrated, I'm upset. That's what happens in life. Our lives look so pretty on the outside to other people. Our other people's lives look so pretty on the outside. But when God as our mechanic pops the hood, he sees the broken things. He sees the things that need to be fixed. He sees the areas that he may need to tighten up a little bit. He sees the areas that may be too tight that he may have to loosen up a little bit. He sees what maybe needs to be replaced and what maybe needs to be taken out and put aside. He sees all of that because he is the one that takes those broken pieces and makes them whole. He is the one that revives it. The title of today's message is A Fresh Start because if you pop the hood on some of our lives right now, we would need a fresh start. There's some areas in our life that God may have to fix and be the mechanic of and take that broken situation and turn it around and make it whole. And to revive something means to bring back to life, to bring back conscious. So the same way I told you about that car that was sitting in there looking pretty but dead, there's some situations in our life that may look pretty, but deep down inside, if you open up the hood to it, they're really broken. So what is it that you want God to revive today? We've got some people that say, oh, I want that marriage, or I want this, or I want that. You don't ever want anything that God doesn't want for you. You want what God has for you because you never know what's underneath the hood of what you're saying you want. Because the same way that you have broken problems and broken issues, everybody in this world has something that they're going through. So never covet after someone else's things because you don't know what they're going through or what they had to go through to get it. But you focus on what's in you. You focus on God being the mechanic of your life. You tell God, God, pop the hood of my life. I know that I may look like this or I know that my job may look like this or my marriage may look like this or this may look like this. But if there's something that you want God to do and to fix, you got to pop the hood and expose the broken areas in your life. You got to let him know that you need fixing and you want him to revive it and bring back to life the things that were up underneath the hood that are causing it to maybe look pretty but not run right and get you to the places that you need to get to. In Psalms 85, 6, it says, revive us again so that we can rejoice in you so that you can get the praise. So the things that need to be revived in your life, ask God for it. Ask God to pop the hood of your life. We all have it undercover where we can look pretty, but inside we got some broken areas. So have God fix those broken areas. If you are married then and you need some fixing in your marriage, have God fix that. If you have children that you want God to revive, have God revive their hearts and bring them back. If you have a situation in your life that's gone dead and you want it to be brought back to consciousness, have God bring it back because he can because he's the ultimate mechanic. And once he revives those things, he then gives you a fresh start. So thank God for the ability to start in your newness today, because he's gonna revive every broken thing in your life. Once he pops your hood, he's gonna fix it and then put that hood back down so you can move on with your fresh start and drive on to the dreams and destinies that he has for you. I hope you are blessed by this message. I decree and declare abundance and favor over your life. And I will see you.